couple of years ago, a friend of mine asked me to take some photos of his Porsche. So I said, yeah, why not? I can do that. And I'll put some great backgrounds in and make it look pretty groovy. So we ended up making a big frame print with uh, six images and just different angles and stuff. So and this is kind of what we ended up with. Today, I'd just like to show you uh, how I created the image in Photoshop. So with cutting out the background and what I started with and how I put all the, the background in. All right, I'll just switch over. Alrighty, so here's our pretty groovy image in Photoshop. Um, as you can see, what I've already done is I've deep etched the image. So we've cut all the outlines out, out of it from around. And so we've got no background. The photograph of the Porsche was actually taken in a studio with a, um, a seamless wall. And it's funny I found the studio because up here in Cairns, uh, we don't have that much. So I ended up using the old TV studio for Channel 10. And as you can see on the right over here, we've got all these different layers and what I've done. So I've pretty much just used the Porsche and took a photo of photos of other backgrounds that I could use in, in the final image. Uh, so what I've actually got is, I'll, I'll turn the Porsche off, is just a couple of walls of an old service station, which has been abandoned and I thought would be pretty good for the images. So this looked like the right perspective and stuff to take the photos. So I took the photos actually after I took the photos of the car so we could match all the perspective. Uh, this is another photo of the service station but just around the back end through through here. And a door to, f oops, a door to fill it in. So this door was on the side over here. You can just see it through there. You can see the walls in there. And also, I was having a bit of a hard time getting a good looking floor, so I actually used one of these walls. I went down to Brisbane the next week for a bit of a holiday, to catch up with some mates, and we used this, this brick wall I took a photo of. So I, I kind of easily imported it and transformed. The hardest thing was actually the perspective, keeping everything in line and looking real, so buildings weren't too warped and everything. My, ne my next step was actually to create an even car scheme all over and I thought the best way to do that was either to go probably use a gradient map like in Photoshop you can access gradient maps from down here so under gradient or actually under gradient map and so that was kind of easy so what I did is I just created a gradient map and I just duplicated it again and again until we actually got it looking good. So. Right. And yeah, just, just to make the image look full, I created a couple of other wall holes over here on the right, which weren't there, so they kind of look a, a bit more detailed than what we could get. I wasn't too, too worried about some of the corners and the background here, this really white thing, because I knew the car would cover the car would cover the background of that. So there's our car and the thing. So once we've got it all down, I am um, actually put in the Porsche. I just to make the the Porsche fit into the image, I created a bit of a, a ground shadow and big netting just around the sides, as you can see. There's our big netting and a, a bit more sepia so the, the image actually popped a little bit more and gave a, a bit of colour into the background so, but not on the car. Uh, of course you can see I deep etched, the, deep etched the windows as well so I created a window fill and just made it a bit, a bit more of a solid colour so you couldn't actually distinguish the difference between it and the background. Uh, also just things that were popping out were the wipers and I mean, pretty much the wipers are like in the front windscreen. So pretty much we've created this whole image out of a couple of shops, out of a servo, and like just a brick wall down in Brisbane. And the last thing I really did was make, to make the image pop. So I used curves. And I suppose the curves really helped with the contrast of the image and just fit everything nicely together. 
I mean, this wasn't bad for a first attempt two years ago. I'm quite proud of it, and I like get, get a lot of good comments from it. The only thing I would do differently today is probably use a few di few different techniques in in Photoshop, maybe different fil filters or adjustment layers. But it's pretty much what I get. Uh, if you if you keep on reading, you'll see a couple of photos of the production of me taking photography. So just check them out. Thanks for reading.